Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Saurozoic Warriors Mar Asus figure from Boss Fight Studio. This is a very different form factor from what we've looked at before, so the question is, does this hold up the strength of this first wave? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks great and very much carries over that 90s charm we have been seeing from this line. Uh, you know, we see that in the kind of traffic cone orange that we've got going on for the skin tone. Then we get the really just super bright neon pink for the belt, the tip of the mouth, and even the outline of this knee pad right here kind of adds some nice extra pop. Then we got this nice like bright blue going on. Just really nice all around. Good textures as well. I and mean, again, skin texture is pretty much everywhere just as it was with the other figures. And uh, you know, some leather texture here for the, the jacket. So just very, very nice all around. Then we get to that face sculpt and lots of personality here. Uh, also that mouth is kind of terrifying. <laughs> Not what I would expect from a Stegosaurus, but uh, pardon me, uh, they just like really got a great look here. I, I love how almost disturbing that is. Like the, the mouth is definitely too big, but in the in the right way, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so really cool there. We get some of the kind of asymmetry that we've seen from this line so far as well. So, you know, his armaments on his left arm are different from the right. And uh, yeah, just lots of like nice little details putting his other knee pad here, kind of being a shell of some sort. Just really nice individual touches and just a cool looking figure overall. Not as many accessories as we have seen with the other figures in the line. However, that is because of how big the main accessory is. So <laughs> jumping right into it, uh, right off the bat, we get this kind of spiked shoulder pad. Uh, you can see some of the markings on the inside there. And that is pretty nice because it just kind of like pops right on there and doesn't go anywhere. So really cool piece there. Then we get a knife, really well sculpted. So you know, again, we see that really bright neon pink coming back. And uh, yeah, just a cool design overall. And then finally, we get this kind of steampunk, so very 90s looking, I don't know how 90s and steampunk go together, but I'm tubes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, this kind of Gatling laser gun and uh, just Really great details all around. Again, that bright pink coming into the, just kind of fading into a black here at the bottom. This is the base plastic naturally. And uh, you can see it gets a couple of tanks here with the, some orange and blue liquid, uh, a little bit of kind of gaskets here. We've got the, the handles, which do move, which is kind of nice. Uh, so you can, because you got some options uh, in terms of posability there. And uh, yeah, and you get the barrel here with the pipe, like, little tubes coming out. And, just really, really great sculpt all around for this weapon. So a lot of love and detail went into this and uh, it's huge. So obviously this is, you know, gonna kind of limit the other accessories they can put with the figure, but uh, absolutely worth it for this. So uh, yeah, that's accessories. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with a couple other Saurozoic Warriors. With some other anthropomorphic dinosaurs. With some Hasbro and some Mattel with some imports, with some monsters, finally with our articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Sorozoic Warriors Mar Asus figure from Boss Fight Studio is that this is a great figure, a lot of fun, absolutely continues what I've seen from the waves so far. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm all in on this line and I think honestly, if you love dinosaurs and 90s aesthetics, and just fun figures, then you are gonna feel the same. So uh, I absolutely re recommend picking this up. It's available at various locations or up for pre-order. And uh, one of those places happens to be Entertainment Earth of whom I am an affiliate. So if this is in stock and you use the code showing up here or use the link in my description, uh, you will get 10% off. If it's not in stock, then you don't get the 10% off. Uh, but if your total order regardless is over $59 and I definitely, probably safely say I recommend getting this whole wave. Um, your, your shipping will be free with that code slash link. So uh, yeah, definitely get down on that if you are interested. And that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff. Uh, other ways to help in the bottom of the description as well. And I hope to see you back because I do various reviews a week of various figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. Let's go on back, let's talk some more toys, let's have some more fun. And uh, most importantly, I hope that you are well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.